Oh, just unplayable, but... Oh, this is fully ray traced! This is fully ray traced! With the release of Portal RTX DLC from NVIDIA, I'm left to think of just a couple of things. One of which is that the future of game rendering is ray tracing. There are very few doubts in my mind about that. Today, NVIDIA has released Portal RTX DLC, showing off and promoting their brand of ray tracing technology. Now, those unfamiliar with this, basically games today use traditional rendering, the raster method, faking all but a few lights and shadows. And surprisingly, we've gotten quite good at this, however, it's still faked. You remove a portion of a map and <laughs> still shadows stick around. Ray tracing, on the other hand, sends out points, the so-called rays, and calculate their colors according how they bounce off of surfaces and change the pixel scholar that way. An example of this can be best seen if you remove the filter from Quake 2 RTX. However, when Nvidia's 2000 graphics card series came out, for the first time ray tracing was offered for games. But they were still not quite powerful enough to send literal millions of rays per second to gain a playable frame rate in games. So, instead many games opted for enhanced Enhanced pictures, where shadows and reflections only were handled by ray tracing, while rest of the scene is rendered in traditional raster method. Though that does not stop people from trying. And as it happens, there are only two fully ray traced RTX games. The aforementioned Quake 2, which is amazing. And Minecraft, of all the things. Which also looks phenomenally. And the added fact that you can switch between rendering styles on the fly, now that is something. So then, today NVIDIA, to promote their technology further, has finally released the Portal RTX. And it does look spectacular! Wow! You can change things on the go! Wow, Reflex is so fucking cool! Whoa, secondary bounces! Wow, alright, so that's, that's just the first bounce. Well, I understand half of this shit, but even so, I love this. There's just so much to tweak. Even as a player, it would be amazing. Boost local. Right, so this is what happens when you stop denoising. Oh. 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 No way! I thought that this was uh, an enhanced version, but no! This is genuinely fully ray traced look. Amazing. And all of this is going to be given to modders. Oh my god. Skyrim is definitely going to get this. Like, there's no way Skyrim ain't going to get this. It's going to be the first couple of days and pff, done. I mean, yeah, sure, you're going to have to use DLSS for this, for really cheap, well, not cheap, but weaker graphics cards. Even my 2080 Ti, which was the first, you know, the, the, the top line RTX card back in the day, it, yeah, uh, you could see the frame rate right there. But as the time goes by, these graphics cards are obviously gonna get cheaper and the technology is gonna, well, if you will, trickle down to a some extent. Hmm, now that I think of it, compared to Minecraft, uh, it's, I don't know, it doesn't look quite as remarkably different. Yeah, there are notable little details, I suppose, uh, coming from all over the place, and there's definitely different ambience with uh, proper lights, uh, but it's, I wouldn't say better, obviously, uh, but mm, now that I think of it, there probably are a couple of places, especially, well, this one down there, uh, that uh, does bring in a bit more uh, evocative look, however, uh, yeah, not every game will translate quite as well, but even so, Oh, the settings! Oh, I like the settings! So cool! See, the reason why ray tracing is the future is not only the precision of the shadows or lighting, but also that no longer level designers will have to bake lights and spend valuable time just sitting around trying to figure out where to put each dynamic light or how much limitation is there from the engine. That means that with this technology, even your average early access game won't look like a complete dog barf anymore, which will only be good for the promotion and the looks. Though, let's be frank, most of the early access developers aren't quite that pure of heart. But for Fine, better technology for better everything. And while sure, the 1490 GPU that recently released is famed for literally catching fire. Oh, 
Wait, sorry. Uh, I mean, power. Yes, how powerful it is. This tech, both the ray tracing as well as the power of the GPUs, is overall in its somewhat infancy, if you will. Oh, this is literal frame a second. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, yeah, me thinks I've uh, abused my... Yeah, all right. All right, there. Remember that the old 1080p screen, a single frame consists of about 2 million pixels alone. So to get a 60 and more frames a second, well, today we still need to use some trickery for it. So then, returning to Portal RTX. Today, Nvidia is releasing this DLC for the game to show off their upcoming RTX Remix mod tools and how they will work, as well as how they will look. A little while back, they showcased redone Elder Scrolls Morrowind and how even this rather old game can turn into a ray traced game, with some work from the modders, of course. Overall, this technology is very impressive and they say that the mod tools will be available sometime around 2023. Now, of course, this might sound like an Nvidia sponsor spot. Now I wish, of course. But no, it's not. Just that this technology is ever more spectacular and I do think that this is the future of games, allowing more complexity and beauty in the scenes to take place. So to balance it out, it's also interesting to note that Nvidia is trying to outmuscle anyone on the technology like this one to establish itself as the de facto leader. This is clear already, but until Radeon or God forbid Intel with their ARC cards won't catch up properly, the technology of ray tracing for actual gameplay will be left to Nvidia to dominate, which solely for competition reasons alone is not a good thing. However, as we see with the portal and of course Morrowind's demo Nvidia showcased, as the tech is advancing sooner rather than later, we'll be playing amazing looking games. And not only new ones, but older ones too. So if you do have RTX GPU, I genuinely recommend you try out Quake 2 and also Portal, then compare with the originals. And maybe if you have, Minecraft RTX, frankly for me, has been the best experience. Not only from the fact that technically you can change rendering mode on the fly, but also just that it looks amazing and brings the fresh air into this otherwise bland, unmodded version. And it's just led me to play the game for hours again. So today, for a little bit of change of pace for the positive celebration of technology, here you go. And as always, if you want to support the content I make, well, do check out the links down below. It's always really appreciated. But as for me, well, I'm off to play some Portal again. <laughs>